Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, today we are going to see how to make the churidar or gathering pant. So I show you the folding of this churidar. So first, this is a square piece. This is two and a half meter. So just I fold it into half. There is the folded edge, and make sure this raw edge that the salvage size should meet that raw edge. So take it in an angle and cross this like that and make sure you get a pointy tip at the bottom. So this is going to be the folding of the um, folding of the churidar. Let's start the marking. So start from the length of your the what the length you're going to give at the ankle. So this is going to be six inches. So the length of the bottom is six inches. From that area, you're going to mark 15 inches. This 15 inches is what the gathering you're giving to your pant. So you don't want to keep 15, 15 is actually standard, you can go to 16, 17, 18, till 19 you can give. So from keeping from that marking, take 15 inches and give a mark. Okay. With the help of the scale, just draw a straight line like this, just draw a straight line and join this to this. This is going to be... Uh, exactly straight okay this is going to be like a rectangle okay. from here from this point I'm going to take the full length of the material Take 30 now. So from that 15 marking, I'm just taking 13. I'm just marking. Given I have given a marking over here. Okay, this is the 30 marking. From keeping the tape over the 15, just take 30 inches and give a marking. And then it's going to be this cross piece I'm sorry the box piece for that the hip measurement is going to be 13 imagine if your hip size is 40 add 2 inches to that and just divide it by 4 it's going to be this measurement and give 1 inch extra and just draw a line to 13 okay. these these gathering pant or a churida doesn't have any any kind of pleats or difference so just we need the exact measurement <coughs> and um, the crotch area just pointing from here take the crotch area crotch area is 10 inches we just marked 11 inch just add 4 or 3 inch to this so when I just add 11 plus 4 okay, take a mark over here. Okay. so 11 plus 4 is going to be 15 and give a curve okay this 15 inches is nothing but your your uh, full thigh measurement and your waist so this might increase or decrease according to your according to your me thigh measurement so if this decreases this full length also decreases 
if you if you reduce any of this measurement you have to reduce all the measurement this one this one and also this so now from here to here you're going to join now join from this point to this point okay so now just give a quarter inch seam okay give a quarter inch seam and cut this out the length of the belt is 14 inches so 14 and a half actual length is um, 13 inches 13 and a half inches I just left half an inch for seaming so that is going to be 14 and a half it's going to be the length so I'm taking 14 and a half 14 it's okay And the breadth is going to be 7 inches plus 1 inch for seam is going to be 8 inch one inch for the folding to inserting the dory in that so this is the double fold fabric and marking the third 14 and a half inches and just folding it again and making into a four piece and that's it cut this out this is going to be the belt so this is going to be the belt the full belt and let's see the stitching of this chudar Okay, the first step in uh, sewing the churiyar is folding the bottom and double folding like this and put a stitch on your After folding this bottom piece together, mark the exact measurement where it going where you're going to sew. So I'm taking 5.5 or nearby 6 inches. Okay. So here I'm going to sew. I'm going to start from here. So now I'm going to show you this one. Let's start. Yeah. I'm going to use this lace. I'm sorry I'm going to use this elastic uh, this is a 3 mm elastic so from this point just fold this over here and just mark the center this is going to be center so this is going to be the center from the center take 10 inches to the top you can take till 15 also but I don't want to take till that so I'm taking 9 inches from there 9 or 10 just depends upon you and I'm going to put this elastic over here and to the this side and also to the next side of the pant so when you add, attach the elastic to this the pant will have a gathering on its own and also it will be catchy Uh, just pull the elastic little bit and then sew
center to the third point. See if you don't want to add this elastic you can just skip this step and you can just join both the piece together. This is optional. So you can just join over here if you don't want this elastic. The next step is joining the crutch together. So make sure you place both the pretty sides together and join the crutch. Starting from this point end till the hip line. Put a double stitch for your crotch area. And do the same to the next side of the crotch. After joining the crutch, join the bottom piece together. Just fold it together and sew exactly at the marking. Today I'm going to leave 5.5 inch and just it depends upon your how length you want. And just join both the sides and start sewing from this and all around the pant. this elastic is absolutely optional if you put this elastic it look really pretty good but if you don't want to wear with the elastic you don't want to use this see as you use the elastic just pull the fabric a little bit and then sew
after sewing this we are going to make the belt piece this is the belt piece for making the belt piece just fold the fabric into half and leaving the one inch gap just give a mark and from the top leave one inch and just give a mark and leave a quarter inch and give a mark so this is the place where you're going to leave your uh, put you insert your dory or if you want to put elastic you can just insert the elastic this is what the place allowance we are giving and this much you are going to fold it and just sew till here and stop the needle and lift your foot up and bring your needle over here and then sew down Now open this like it and double fold it. Okay, just fold it once. It's already folded together and so stretch just down. And you can see the hole so when you fold it like this you will have the hole over here you can see so now just like that fold it and just stitch all around Okay, now I show you how to attach the churidar with the belt piece what we prepared before. So you can see the center of the belt where you insert the dory. Just take that and the match the center and the center of your churidar like this. So matching this edge, you're going to start from this and sew all around and just you're going to end over here. Okay. So make sure that you match the pretty side of the fabric facing the pretty side of your belt. If you want you can just secure it with some pins and then you can start sewing. And this is the output of the churidar. This is the final. And at the bottom, you can see the the elastic what we attached. You can see the nice, beautiful, beautiful pleats are we made. See, like this. And if you like this video, please click on the thumbs up button below and please do share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my video so that you don't miss any of my future video. Thank you so much. Bye -bye.